What do you think it is? I don't know. It's not yours then? Nope. Mm. Must have been left behind by whoever was here before us. What do you think it is? It looks like a remote. Yeah, but what for? I don't know, and I don't really care if I'm honest. <laughs> Alright, I'm just curious. And why is it in a box all on its own? Steve? Yeah? Can you finish going through these books? Yeah, yeah, in a minute. What do you think it is? Huh? I said, what do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. It's not yours then? No. Oh, must have been left behind by whoever was here before us. I've gone back in time. Huh? I said I think it's mine. Oh, okay. John? Yeah? Do you get a really weird sense that we've done all this before? What? You know, like really intense deja vu. No. Maybe you should take a break. You don't look so good. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna go and lie down. Okay. Weird. Oh, you're up. Mm, I am. Look, look, so, I'm sorry, I don't really know what came over me earlier. No. Well, if you're ready, we can get back to going through those boxes. Yeah, man, um, I'll see you up there in a minute. Yeah, sure. God damn it, you're trying to give me a heart attack. I thought you were still asleep. <laughs> Sorry man, I didn't mean to scare you. Really? <laughs> well, if you're ready, we can get on with going through those boxes. Let's do it, come on. Hey, new Twitter follower. <laughs> Hey you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah. You got the time? Oh, uh, yeah, it's uh, nearly half five. Thanks, mate. Now give me your watch. What? I said give me your watch. Do you not understand it, mate? No, I understand it. Then take it off. It's only a cheap thing. It's nothing special. Oh yeah. Then give me your phone too. What? Yeah, don't want you phoning the police. Shut up. Uh, look, no, I'm, I'm not giving you my phone. Say no one more time. We'll see what happens to you. I'll take it. Now your wallet. Oh, come on. Your wallet.
Got anything else worth having? No. You didn't check. You didn't check. Hand it over. I said hand it over. No. Hey, new Twitter follower. Oh no, that's the same one. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. You got the time? Uh, yeah, it's uh, nearly half five. All right. Now give me your watch. Nah. What? Oh, you're not going to take anything from me. You think you're hot at talking just like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I you, do. You made a big mistake. I just had to take the long way around. Oh, no worries, mate. Uh, this is Hannah. She works with me in marketing. Steve. Steve! Huh? I said we're going to get Peter and play some trivia game. Do you want to join us? Yes. Definitely. Okay, Steve. Final question. Who invented the steam engine? James Watt. And with that, we have a winner. Yes! <laughs> wow, that's amazing, Steve. I don't think you got a single question wrong. Well, guys, this has been fun, but I need to get going. Uh, I'll show you out. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. We should go down to a pub quiz sometime. Oh, yeah, um, I don't know about that, but yeah. <laughs> so, I'm gonna head off now. Cool, um, I'll see you soon. Actually, do you wanna hang out sometime? Uh, yeah, sure, I'll speak to John and we can... No, I, I meant just us. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. I'll get your number from John. Great. I'll, um, I'll see you soon. I think I just got a date with Hannah. Oh, nice one, mate. You know, I had a feeling there might be something going on between you two, but uh, I didn't actually think you'd have the guts to do anything about it. Well, I didn't exactly. What do you mean? She kind of asked me out. Oh, come on, Steve. <laughs> what? Nothing. I mean, normally the guy makes the first move, but a date's a date, right? Exactly. And at least she got her number. You did get her number, right? <sighs> Why not? She said she'd get my number off of you. But you had your phone right there. Why didn't you just do it? No, I wasn't thinking. It's all right. I can fix it. No, 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 no. Don't do anything. Trust me. Whatever you do now is just going to make things worse. But no buts. It's not like you can just magically go back in time and change things. Wow. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. We should go down to a pub quiz. Hannah, do you want to go on a date sometime? Sorry. Hannah, do you want to go on a date sometime? Too forward? Just a bit. Right. Hang on. Wow. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. We should go down to a pub quiz sometime. <laughs> What's up? Hannah, do you want to maybe hang out sometime? Yeah. Yeah? Sure, that'd be great. OK, great. Uh, why don't you put your number in here? Uh, sure. Okay. Great. Guess I'll see you soon. Yeah. See you soon.
Stay calm, Steve. Stay calm. <laughs> hey, Steve. How are you doing? Yeah, good. How are you? Great. Listen, before we head off, we need to talk. Oh, can't that wait? Time really is of the essence. Okay. Speaking of time, it's a funny thing, isn't it? Where exactly is this going? Nobody ever has enough time. Except you. Uh, I'm not sure I... Steve, I know you have a device that can rewind time. What? I was already suspicious, but you winning that quiz? And the way you knew to avoid those muggers... Well, how did you know about that? We've been watching you for a while. We? The government. I don't really work with John in marketing. Well, I do, but that's just the cover. I'm actually part of a special unit, working to protect the public against potentially harmful technology. We believe a large-scale disaster is on the horizon. And you want me to use the device to help you stop it? Oh, God, no. This isn't some movie where we let any idiot help save the day. Thanks. If anything, we chase the cause of the disaster back to you. Well, I didn't do anything. Well, not yet. So far, you've only used the device for your own personal gains and harmless pranks. Yeah, exactly. But even the smallest of changes can have large consequences. So what happens now? First, you hand over the device. Then we'll take you into custody for questioning. You're going to arrest me? No. Well, yes, sort of. But only until we know that everyone is safe. No, I'm not going with you. You don't have a choice. Steve, trust me. This is for your own good. Trust you. I have no idea who you really are. Just hand over the device, Steve. There isn't any way for you to escape. Oh, isn't there? Steve, no! I'm sorry. Hey. He's getting away. Should we follow him? He needs to know the danger. Negative. I think he already knows. Well, what should we do now? We send in the big guns. John, we've got to get out of here. Whoa, whoa, when did you get home? Oh, about 30 seconds ago. We have to leave now. Okay, what the hell is wrong with you? Oh, it's Hannah. She's like a secret agent or police or something. She's trying to track me down. Okay, I see what's going on here. Your date didn't exactly go to plan. I get it, that sucks. But fleeing the country is a bit of an overreaction, don't you think? I'm not talking about the date. Okay, then why is she mad with you? Because of this. You still have that. Yeah, it's not junk. It's this really advanced technology that reverses time. It reverses time. Yeah, I promise. So try it. Um, how do I yeah. literally just press that button? Press the big button. John, we've got to get out of here. Hang on. How did you get that? You, you gave it to me. You told me that Hannah was after you and you had to leave the country and then you gave me this and told me to press the button. Did I? That's strange, I've never been on this side of it before. You can have this back now. Thanks. So you believe me? I do now! Good, that saves a lot of time. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, Steve, hold up. Why don't we just come straight back to the park if you were just here with Hannah? Because, John, it's the perfect hiding place. They'll never think to look for us here. Steve. Hannah? This has gone on long enough. Hand over the device, or we'll take it by force. This is Agent Barnes and Agent Hunter. I believe you've already met. Hang on, you're the guys who... Oh, come on! You got away from us once before, but it won't be happening again. We've come back from the future to make sure you stop using the device that's in your hands. It's incredibly advanced technology, and none of us really know how it works. Or where it comes from. But what we do know is that every time you use it, it creates a crack in time and space. We've used one of the cracks your device created to come back to you now. But if you came back using one of the cracks in time that this device created, then... That means I'm working with you in the future. Yes. Perhaps this would hit home more if you heard it from your own mouth. Oh no. How 
thought that I just hit my head. Am I saying double? Steve, look, I know this is all mental, but you have to hand back the device. Everything goes wrong from here, but you can stop that. Just hand back the remote. But how can I trust them? They're not the bad guys. They're trying to save everyone. Do you believe me? Then hand over the remote. Make sure it's destroyed. Thank you. But wait! How do things work out for us in the future? I mean, besides the apocalypse and all. <laughs> I don't think that'll help you all that much. You know, alternate realities and all that. Before our timeline is erased, we'll ensure you're left alone. But you must never speak of this again. Understand? Yes. Good. To be clear, neither of you will see me again. But what about the two of us hanging out? I think that's a no. Just a load of books in this one. No crazy time traveling remotes then. <laughs> Shut up. Put that with the others, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Although I do wonder what would have happened if I'd have found that thing instead. I like to think I probably wouldn't have caused the apocalypse. <laughs> do you know what? It's a shame my double from the future didn't stick around. Probably would have got this done twice as fast. Yeah, well I think I preferred future Steve. Oh. He had a bit more sense in him. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Way.